Everyone has a story. Some engage, inspire, and excite. Most teach us valuable lessons to learn from. In fact, we've been using stories as a way of passing on information ever since we could talk. Stories can help people to understand complicated ideas by breaking information down into more manageable pieces, by creating mental pictures, and by giving information context. So it makes sense for Lloyd's Register to use stories as a communication tool to share knowledge. We all enjoy sharing stories. Just listen to your colleagues at lunch. So, by holding face-to-face -face storytelling sessions to share information, we can be sure to engage and be confident that not only is the information remembered, but it is understood. You could use storytelling. To help illustrate a point when problem solving or when sharing knowledge, let me explain how you can start using storytelling to assist you. Like all stories, yours should have a structure. It's important that you prepare this before the event takes place. It might help you to think about what the message is that you're trying to get across. Give your story a title. Set the scene. Explain who was involved. Describe what happened, and finally explain the lessons that were learnt from it. Next, you need to select a facilitator. Try to choose someone that'll be good at encouraging others to get involved, because you'll need people to discuss your story. Make sure you tell people that you're inviting them to an event in which they'll need to listen and then share similar experiences and stories. Make the environment as comfortable as possible. The facilitator will also need to get a flip chart to make notes. Begin by telling everyone that the session is designed to inspire and involve. Then, in your own time, share your story. Don't forget to tell them who were involved and try to describe the scenario in detail. It'll help make the story really clear in their minds. Remember to keep it brief. Around thirty minutes is long enough. Oh, and make sure you have a positive ending. You want people to leave feeling motivated by what you've told them. Finally, you should invite the group to talk about the story you've just shared. For larger sessions, it might be best to break out into smaller groups and to nominate a facilitator per group to take notes. You could also film or make an audio recording of a story, then use it as an accompaniment to a case study. So, in summary, stories can help you express knowledge that is difficult to articulate, or you can use them to share complex ideas in a fun and interesting way. They can also nurture a sense of community and help to build relationships with one another. Who knows? Your story could end up inspiring many future success stories.